Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel, episode three. And this episode, we're gonna be focusing on the oil pump and the upper and lower oil pins. And if we have time, we're gonna to get to the top end as well. Removing the cams, cam gears, installing the new cams. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start off by removing the gear here and we'll end up taking this off here don't forget to take this off because if you go to pull the gear off and you forget that's not taken out then you're gonna break that so we'll do that and then we'll try to flip this thing over and start working on the upper and lower oil pans and we'll take a look at the bottom end and see how that looks and go from there Came off super easy, so I didn't need a puller. So that was cool. All right, let's uh, flip this thing upside down. All right, so now that we got the lower oil pan off, we're gonna go ahead and start removing the baffling tray and the strainer. And then we'll start removing the upper oil pan bolts. So we'll have some 10 mils here all around, and then we'll have some 12 mils inside here for the upper oil pan and some 14 mils back over here. And once we get those out, we'll just uh, pry on it on these areas, and that should uh, separate that seal the gasket rtv gasket seal and um yeah we'll take a look at the bottom end
All right, so with the upper oil pan off, we can now take a look at our bottom noon and uh, see what's going on down here. See if there's anything unusual. And now we can get our oil pump off and then we can go ahead and start removing the bolts for the rear main and uh, getting that off so we can get the new one in there and uh, all sealed up. All right, so I went ahead and uh, removed the oil pump and cleaned everything up, got the old RTV off, looked at the bottom end, everything looks pretty good. Didn't see anything unusual. So we're gonna go ahead and clean the upper and lower oil pans, give it a nice little bath, and then uh, we're gonna start uh, putting everything back on, sealing it all back up. All right, so we got everything cleaned up. And uh, we're going to go ahead and throw some RTV on the edges of the oil pump and get that thrown on. All right, so we got the oil pump on. We're just gonna check the torque. Should be 15 foot pounds. All right, so now we got the oil pump on, the rear main seal housing on. We're gonna go ahead and throw some silicone on the oil pan, get that all nice and sealed up. All right, so we got everything lined up. We're gonna go ahead and uh, zap them on you and check them with the uh, quick and checklist. All right, looks like it's all nice and sealed up. A little much there, we have to wipe off that excess. Now we're gonna go ahead and check the torque. So for the 14 mils, should be 29 foot pounds. And then for the 12 millimeters, it should be 15 foot pounds. So yeah, it's looking pretty good.
Alright, so, got the upper pan bolted up. We'll go ahead and put the uh, baffle in the center and get the lower open bolted up. All right, so we got everything sealed up and back together. Everything's looking good. We got it all upright on the engine stand. So now we're gonna go ahead and remove the cam gears and we'll remove the valve covers and um, prep these for paint and start uh, getting the cams all ready to go in. All right, so pretty much so far we've done the oil pump We've resealed the bottom end. Um, now we're just trying to take care of the top end. We're about to pull the cams off. So we're gonna get these cam gears off first. And then we'll start doing the sequence for the cam caps to get them out of here, so. All right guys, so first we're gonna remove the VVTI cam gear, then the exhaust side cam gear. Then we'll remove this plate here and we'll start doing the sequence on removing the camshaft caps which will be from both sides, working our way from outward in as it's recommended so we don't break anything, hopefully. And uh, we'll start getting everything ready to put in a new BC264s. All right, so we didn't break anything. So that's always nice. I'm not gonna lie though, when that cam cap popped out, kind of spooked me a little bit. Just have to lift these old cams out and uh, start getting the new ones in. All right, so the new cams are installed. All torqued down to the proper spec. It's 
So now all we have left to do is clean up this excess RTV and uh, we'll throw on that plate and put the new VVTi gear and the BC exhaust cam gear on. All right, new cams are in, new exhaust cam gear, new VVTi cam gear, new oil pump, the bottom end's resealed. Looking pretty good, pretty excited. All right guys, well that's pretty much it for this video. Stay tuned for uh, the next videos coming out. We got plenty more to do on the 110. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you next time. Thanks for tuning in guys, peace.